Hi and hello. Let me show you how easy it is to install WD Admin to work and manage Azure Virtual Desktop and some Azure resources in a simple way. So first, open the browser, go to my blog page, that is blogitprocloud.de, and there is an article featured um, called WD Admin. Click on that and you can directly download the newest version from here or update an existing installation. So let me click on that. Open the installation package. Next, next, read the license agreement. Next, next. And the installation is done. So let me open WBD admin. So before we can use WD Admin, we have to create a kind of service account, a service principal, and that can be done in the Azure portal. Go to Azure Active Directory, and the service principal is named App Registration. So use App Registration, click on New Registration, give it a display name, for example, as we see underscore WD admin demo one, so that I can find it later. Click on register and the service principle is created. What we need from the service principle is first the tenant ID. I copy it into, clip, into the clipboard. Go back to WD admin and add the tenant ID, then we need the application ID, client ID, that is the service principal ID, and finally we need a kind of secret. We can create a new secret in certificates and secrets, new client secret, I want that this works for 12, at least 12 months before I have to recreate a new secret. Click on add and then copy the value. The value is the secret, not the secret ID. So copy the value and post, paste it into the service principle key field. Click on save. So now that is saved, before we can start and load the data and work with the data, we have to give the service principle permissions. First, let us give the proper API permission that is needed to read the users and groups to assign it later to application groups. Click on add a permission, Microsoft Graph, application permissions, and the permission is directory read all so that we can read the user data and group data Add permission. For this permission, we need an admin consent that can be done here. If I click on grant admin consent, then this switch into green and can be used. So that is for reading Active Directory data. The second permission we need is access to the resources in the Azure portal, and that can be done on a resource group level. That is what I recommend. Please do it on a resource group level and give the service principal the proper permission to work with the um, AVD resources, the virtual machines, and that WD admin can connect a, dub, a, a virtual machine to a network. So please include also the resource group, including the network or give the permission on the network itself. I do that in my case on the subscription level because this is only used for AVD. I go to access and control, add a role assignment, contributor, if you want to um, also give permission to app groups later, 
then owner is needed. Unfortunately, that is needed to give others permissions uh, to resources. So let me decide to use contributor and later I have to remember that I have to give owner permission to the app groups if I want to use this features feature. So next, select members. As we see, WD admin, as we see, WD admin, demo one, select, review and design, and once again, and now the service principle has access, in my case, to the subscription, or in your case, to the correct resource groups. So, sometimes it can take a few seconds or minutes before it works active, before it works. Then let us click on reload all. And that reloads all the data we need from, uh, yeah, all the data we need from Azure, including Azure Virtual Desktop. In my case, it took a little bit longer because I have a lot of host pools in, um, in the subscription. So let us wait for a few seconds. And here we go. I can see the Azure resources we typically need, virtual machine images and so on. And also my AVD environment, host pools. Here is my demo host pool with some session hosts in it. And you can also see the users here in the user list. Let me show you how easy it is to grab an image. To grab an image, I prepared a virtual machine with Windows 10 or 11. I installed Windows updates, my application. The virtual machine is also joined to the domain, to, in, in my case, to an Active Directory domain, but that is not needed. And after that, I dare locate this virtual machine, my golden master. And to grab an image, I go to virtual machine, templates, and that is my gold master with Windows 10 image. To grab an image, right click, create a template image, give it a name, template, AVD clean. What's the date of today? Select the target resource group to store the image later. That is also um, WBD templates. And then click on capture. And now the capture process starts. Important to know is, and that is different um, if you do it natively in the Azure portal, WD Admin first create a copy of this virtual machine, of your original Golden Master. And all the things like um, sysprepping and the generalization is then done with a copy and not with your original Golden Master. So at the end, you have, an Im uh, you have an image which you can use to deploy a new session host and your Golden Master can be reused maybe in a week or two to do some other Windows updates, application updates, and then create a new image. So this virtual machine stays untouched from the process of generating an image. That will take maybe around five minutes and then we can continue. So here we go, the image is ready. We can find the image or can see the image in images, the resource group. And here is our new and fresh created image. To roll out the image into, an host, into a host pool, right click, create a session host from image and do some configuration. The naming schema, ending with the hashtags to um, to count up the names. I want to have five new session hosts in my host pool. 
design. And let me mark it that we know that this other new one. Demo. The subnet is in my case and my case the West Europe subnet. I want to store the new virtual machine in the resource group called WVD test. Premium disks. The virtual machine I want to use is V5. You can select your favorite virtual type for the VM. Then the first time we use this, we have to enter some things if you want to join the session host to an active directory domain, like a domain user who is able to add a new computer object into active directory. I made me a little help. So in my case, for my environment, that is this user account, the service account. The domain name, the active directory domain name is itprocloud.test in this case. Then we need a local admin name for the local admin user and also a password. Use a strong password and the organization unit. If you can left it empty, then it will store in the default container. But I want to use group policy, so I want to store my new session host in this OU. So that is fine for me. And then I click on start rollout. And then it should start. So it starts building five new session hosts, and this will take a few minutes. So here we go. Let us check if the new session hosts are available. Go to host pools. To the host pool, we have used session hosts. There are the existing session hosts. Let me click on refresh. Ah, there we go. There are the new session hosts. One, two, three, four, five. Number one is unavailable right now. I guess it's in the starting process. So let, let us wait for a minute or two and then I'm pretty sure we have all session hosts running and available. Yeah. There are a lot of other features in WVD admin. Test it. It's a free solution. Check my blog post for updates or on my YouTube channel to get some details how to, yeah, how to work with WAdmin with the other features. Thanks a lot.